in Mark chapter 3, verse 20. One time Jesus entered a house and the crowds began to gather again. Soon he and his disciples couldn't even find time to eat. As I move around this world, the one thing that I hear people complain about most consistently is, I'm so busy. I have never been so busy I didn't find time to eat. Jesus and his disciples couldn't even take a break to eat. When his family heard what was happening, they tried to take him away. He's out of his mind, his family said, about the Messiah, about the Son of God, about the one God sent to save his people from their sin. He's out of his flippin' mind, according to his family. One time Jesus was casting out demons. Let's go over here, cast out some demons. Some people, I guess, thought that was a bit unusual. In verse 31, it says, Then Jesus' mother and brothers came to see him. They stood outside and sent word for him to come out and talk with them. There was a crowd sitting around Jesus, and someone said, Your mother and your brothers are outside asking for you. Pay attention. Jesus replied, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? Then he looked at those around him and said, look, these are my mother and brothers. Anyone who does God's will is my brother and my sister and my mother. These are my family. Those people are not my family anymore. And a sword of deep sorrow will pierce through your own soul. the relationship had changed and that had to hurt on Palm Sunday when Jesus rode into Jerusalem was Mary waving her palm branch with the others when someone asked who is that and she goes that's my boy probably not when Jesus was taken away Perhaps one of the disciples told her that her son had been seized. And in the words of C.S. Lewis, what mother wouldn't crawl through the sewers to find out what had happened to her son? There's no doubt that Mary was among the women who were sad and crying for him as he was being led to his crucifixion. This gets harder to read every time I put it up. The next time we hear of Mary, she's at the bleeding feet of her son watching him die. Where else would she be? She was his mother. Why did the angel say the Lord had blessed me? Where is the blessing in this? She didn't understand. This was the greatest blessing God had ever offered to people. Jesus was dying so you and I don't have to. And he's doing it because he loves us. But that was her boy. And a sword of deep sorrow will pierce through your own soul. None of us is ever going to face anything like what Mary and Joseph faced. But we have to do the same thing they did. We have to obey. We have to do what God calls us to do. But what if it's not easy? So what? Oh, but what if I'd rather do something else? 
don't care. Well, what if people talk about me? So what? Well, what if it takes a lot of hard work? Grow up. When Mary took on this job, she was a teenager. At Christmas, we celebrate the greatest gift that's ever been given to mankind. But it started with Mary and Joseph's gift to us. And I think about that every nativity scene that I see. <laughs>